Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verse 43 through 45 today. Let's take it. For a good tree does not bear bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For men do not gather figs from thorns, nor do they gather grapes from a bramble bush. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. Well, there's some different bits in here. One of those is the one we just heard at the end, right? Whenever somebody is speaking what they're saying, be careful. That, that is usually an index of what's going on in their heart. Now, we can misspeak. We can, people can lie. They can misrepresent. But over the long term, when you get the full set of things that people say, you can kind of get an idea where they're coming from. Notice that a good tree doesn't bear bad fruit, and, and likewise, Jesus is saying to us, you produce, you reproduce what you are. You, you put it into the world. You live it into the world. You act upon the world, and you uh, put yourself back into the world. And so every time we do something, we act. Every time we, we speak to somebody or we say something of someone else, we are, we are putting something into the world. Now, is it good or is it bad? Many times we've put a lot of garbage into this world. We didn't need to say that. I didn't need to say that about this person. I could have said something nice. Whereas, you know, my parents taught me, and I hope your parents taught you, if you can't, don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. And for most, for many cases, that's, that's the plan. Uh, we do have to analyze things. And when we see poison and injustice happening, there are times when we must, certainly must intervene and, and point out and, and point out what sin is. So, but right here we find out that our heart needs to be right or we're going to produce bad fruit. That's just the baseline. So if you're going to be a, a spiritual person, if you're going to be a follower of Jesus, if you're going to be a, a Bible kind of Christian, you want to put the Bible into your heart. You want to put the words, the ideas, the thoughts, the actions and behaviors of Jesus as outlined in the Bible into your heart. And you want to think on those things so that you can uh, put, project that back, bring that goodness back into the world. And instead of thinking about all the junk you're getting off of social media all the time, study parts of the Bible, get into it, and study it with great closeness. I mean, I've been studying, uh, for example, Revelation 11, and, and, and I, I can lay there in the middle of the night, and if I happen to wake up in the middle of the night, I can just go back through and see all the things I'm seeing in Revelation chapter 11, you know, two witnesses, two olive trees, two lampstands, two prophets, and then I... Go back to Zechariah chapter chapter 3, chapter 4 back there, and there you find the same stuff. Anyway, you, by what you put into you changes you. And so you want to have the right stuff that you're going over the right stuff instead of the wrong stuff. There's so much of the wrong stuff out there just begging to come in and, and, and be put into your brain. You don't need to put all that in there. Most of that shouldn't go in the, straight in the garbage bin. So be a good tree, and God will help you to produce good fruit. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, I want to be a tree that produces good fruit, but out of my heart I will speak. Please, Lord, into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Please may your truth transform me so that I am a kind and gentle person and a person of truth in this world. And sometimes I'll have to be full of courage and firmness to uphold your truth. But help me to be that kind of person so that good fruit is the result. May you be glorified, Lord. I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. May God's blessings be upon you today, and may you be a good tree amidst a lot of bad trees, but may there be good fruit from your life.